Okay, so many of you were asking me, Supremo so sir, you have joined as a QA rewrite in Browser Strike, right? What was the project that you have done, and how much projects are important to basically get into a dream job or any software testing world or any coding related job, right? How much is the projects important, especially as a software tester? Please let me know in this comment, right? So exactly in this video, I'm going to talk about the three or four project that I have done, right, to crack my dream company that I have done it, right? And what are the projects that you can also replicate? I think you can do similar kind of projects, and because let me tell you clearly which nobody is telling you right now over the internet projects are the only thing which can land you a job okay nowadays all the people they have great resume they know how to apply right if you are an experienced person if you have done it the projects if you know how that project you have done it what are the parts that you basically have done it and if that project is helpful in the next company where you are applying right that's where your chances of getting hired are increased trust me it is the real real truth all right so let's jump into it so first of all you can watch this video in 1.5x and i will discuss about the this thing uh the projects into two way first one was the coding part and the second one was the what are the projects that i have done it right let me zoom in also okay the first one so first of all web web point of view web automation point of view right because i was already working as previously i have done project which uh, app.vw which is a ab testing tool right i have already done it so i was working continuously with the selenium right that's the one of the major advantages that i have felt right so project was app.vlove.com where you have login page registration page i have automated it multiple times using javascript right i was very much comfortable in javascript at that time i was comfortable in promises and uh, other things callbacks and other things right we have used multiple things there was a automation frameworks protector that we have used to use it was amazing i really love that tool i uh, really love the testing framework but right now i think that is no longer supported nowadays right but in that selenium right we have used uh, while we are working right in the app in this uh, app.vlove.com right you can basically give it a free trial and you can learn more about how ab testing is done for a particular website the important thing is the editor which basically edits a particular website in that one i have learned the important concept in selenium advanced concepts like switching between the frames how to switch between the frames or iframes when you have multiple legs for example four or five iframes and you have to click a button then you have to check other th side if it is working fine multi tab system we have learned heat map project where we have done action classes we have used action classes and javascript executor so so immensely that you cannot imagine i mean those that project right in the editor we used to laugh on that project that because there was no unique ids no unique xpath was so difficult css selectors in selenium was so difficult to do we used to do major major task with the javascript executor that's the only way we had it right so again this is how i have learned the important concept in selenium i was so familiarized with them right i mean you cannot imagine i mean it was so easy and straightforward at the time that i have used maximum amount of features on selenium in that project right so that was one of the projects that's what i recommend also if you are if you are doing a project in selenium right use maximum number of features right? for example windows frames right action classes uh, and uh, even if you have pop ups or anything right maximum number of things you have to include into your project that's one of the simple learning that i have done it because you will not know which feature is basically you will be automating in your next company right second one i think the project was related to log parsing log parsing basically was similar similar where you have a very important log available it's a big log where you need to parse it properly uh, i'm going to show you in the chat gpt if you see right a uh, simple one this was looks like this for example this is how the logs looks like which is present into a file i have to read that file i have to basically parse it and make it a json response it was a simple program but after that they made it very tough that okay these are 10000 line in a single file now make it more thread safe right i think i have used same example i have used which which is thread pool in the multi threading right read a file then by using the executor in multi threading right i used to teach this also because i have taken the classes so that's why i knew these things where you can use a thread pool and you can ask a thread to do the parsing as well as writing the file into the system that's what and after that you can create a json objects which will return you in multiple ways so this is the solution i will post the link also if you want to check it out in a thread safe manner right but again log parsing was one of the important project that you can do again the third important point related to this is the framework structure guys i was familiarized with the web automation frameworks in selenium so well i know how to use the page object pattern different design patterns in java for example builder pattern adapter factory right there are multiple ones like four or five patterns i have used them personally in multiple projects that's why uh, when they ask the question related to it right okay what is this pattern what is a builder pattern what is a factory pattern what is a singleton pattern right i had the knowledge i have given them that okay this is an example this is how it can be done and i have 
showcase them with the proper code also that's what second important point is framework guys i've seen over the internet people say that okay people are not asking questions related to framework that is not true i've seen people are still asking questions related to framework page object model what is the folder structure that you are keeping right how you are running your test cases parallelly and how you are maintaining your test cases how reporting you are manage which logs you are using in selenium project this one all of them you have to basically take care so please if you are working with web automation you can take out a app.pw project or you can use any other project for example i have given in the last video i have given multiple websites where you can test it out log parser these kind of projects or frameworks that you should be well well versed when you are applying for a job that's was the important thing right in api testing i think i have given multiple times i have talked about it github repo api basically where crud operation specifically where github generally use basic auth and auth2 so i have used both of them in the jira api also you have you can use basic auth and now you can only use auth2 so i was pretty much comfortable in auth2 how the properly token and other things are basically done right all the crud operation what are the test cases that you will add right all these projects you can add so these two projects i have basically talked about in my interview right these are the node project that i have done specifically but on weekends right on saturday sunday i used to do these projects i used to add them into a my postman so that because i was learning those concept as a postman right i was creating videos also so those videos or those projects actually helped me to crack the my dream company job right so you you never know guys you never know which one is will be helpful for you in the future so make sure you are doing practice on saturday sunday take out some time no take out some time like 2 hours 3 hours or uh, per week right saturday sunday and do those projects related to api web automation that's the super important point okay now the third one which is mobile automation so when i have joined my third company right uh, where i have joined as a mobile tester right so i used to do it basic automation for login i think for mobile one i have not done it for large enough i think one year and one and a half year i have worked on mobile automation where uh, you can download this test app of amazon you can play around apm we have used to use i was using apm with python at the time because it was easy it was very easy to set it up right I I don't have to write too much code in Python. That's why simple pattern that we have used and that worked very well, right? So these three projects related to API, mobile, and web automation that has helped me. I'm gonna put down in the description more websites for practice that you can basically add, and those sites you can add it to your resume also if you want to, right? So overall learning. Apart from this, guys, to crack the coding interviews, right? I have used Geeks for Geeks. It is an amazing website. I have practiced on Geeks for Geeks for arrays, strings, collection framework, right? Multiple things uh, because i was preparing with java specifically that's why hacker rank i have done it i have done the multiple challenges or multiple smaller smaller basic stuff as well as medium programming things on hacker rank guys let me tell you very straight forward coding part i am still doing even with like 10 years 11 years right i still whenever i get a some time right i still do lead code challenges the reason is very simple coding is something which you cannot learn in like 2 months or 3 months it is you have to keep on improving yourself right if you forget about some concepts if you don't know this concept you have you have to revise that's what so always create your profiles on hacker rank lead code then you can revise those things side by side right one of the website which has helped me to basically accelerate my coding thing is the educative right you can go to the educative educative.io is an amazing website especially if you are preparing for java coding interview answers especially for your automation profile sd profile right go with it trust me it will be a worth it will be a worth of it there is a course which is ace your java coding interviews that contains multiple multiple questions which were direct which are directly getting asked in multiple companies like cognizant and any most of the companies were hiring as automation i have seen it right so coding part is sorted by using educative.io lead code and hacker rank or geeks for geeks for most of the solutions projects wise these are the project that i have discussed which are basically help me a lot thanks a lot for uh, watching this video i hope this video has helps right for example i was just talking about what are the projects that i have done it which has helped me to crack a qa lead position at the time right thanks for for joining in i hope this helps if you need more help let me know in the comments if you like this video just give me a like thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video bye bye